Redos 1.3 RC4 has a slightly streamlined install process. So let's take a look at how to install the latest version of Freedos. So over here, I've got a completely blank virtual machine, and we're going to install Freedos on that. I pause the install process or the boot process at the BIOS prompt where it's asking me to select what media I want to boot from. It can't boot from the hard drive in this case. Let's go ahead and boot from CD. I'm going to do that by hitting number three in the menu. Now this is just my, uh, my virtual machine. Your uh, boot menu may look different on your system. Uh, at this menu, you can see I'm, I can choose to run FreeDOS in the live environment mode where it's going to run everything directly off the CD without actually having to install it or I can install to the hard disk. And then down below, you can see I can boot from the system hard drive or boot from diskette. But in this case, I want to install to the hard disk. So I'm going to go ahead and select that menu item and just hit return. So the system's going to uh, boot up and it's going to initialize a couple of things and that's going to dump me right into the installer. So right here, it's going to, the first question it's going to ask is what is my preferred language? Of course, I'm going to choose English, but you can choose other languages on this list as well. And the neat thing, of course, is if you, uh, go through each of the menu items, it actually changes the spoken language for the entire install program. Uh, and so uh, there's Spanish and uh, let's go ahead and back up to English and we'll do an install with English as the preferred language. I'll just hit return. And now here it's going to give me an option to back out of the install if I would like to, it just gives you a reminder that uh, if you're installing this on an actual bare metal machine, uh, and you have another operating system on it, like Windows, uh, FreeDOS, installing FreeDOS probably is going to overwrite that. So just as an FYI, uh, we always put this message up there. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and uh, select yes, continue with the installation. Now, this is a completely blank hard drive image on my virtual machine. So that uh, hard drive is not actually partitioned. And so I need, first thing I do is now partition the hard drive. So I'm going to say yes, partition drive C. It's going to do some things on the back end to try and partition that hard drive for me. In the previous version of FreeDOS, we actually had to run the uh, FDisk program and actually uh, partition the hard drive ourselves. But in this case, it actually tries to do that on its own. Now, whenever DOS boots up, that's actually the only time it reads the partition table on the drive. The partition table is actually what tells you where's the C drive and D drive and things like that. So. Uh, if you change the hard drive partition table, you now need to reboot the machine so FreeDOS can take it, uh, can read that data. So we'll go ahead and hit yes, uh, reboot now. And so the system can reboot. I need to go back into the boot menu in my case. I'm going to hit three to boot from CD. And I'm going to select install to hard disk. And so again, the installer is going to uh, start back up and it's going to start the end process uh, over again. So what is my preferred language? It's English. And yes, I'd like to continue with the installation. Now it detected that drive C actually is partitioned, but there isn't a DOS file system on it yet. And so we need to format the C drive to give it a DOS file system. So I'm going to select yes, please erase and format drive C. And that runs pretty quickly. And then just press any key to continue. And now it's going to read some data out of the installer so it can uh, do the rest of the process. And uh, first it's going to ask me, what is my keyboard layout? This could be different than your spoken language. Uh, again, you could uh, use the menu items to select your preferred keyboard layout. But in this case, I'm going to use English as my default. Now, what do I want to install? Uh, the default here is doing a full installation, including all the applications and games. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to just do a very quick install. And for that, I'm going to do a plain DOS system. This is going to give me basically what you would get if you installed MS-DOS uh, on your system back in the 1990s. This is going to replace uh, all that functionality with FreeDOS. So I'm going to hit return on plain DOS system. And before it does any installation, it's going to just ask me to verify, am I ready to proceed? And yes, I am. Please install FreeDOS 1.3 RC4. Hit return on that. Again, it's going to read some information and now it's going to go ahead and install all of the packages. Now I chose the base install so that way it doesn't have a lot of packages to install. So uh, here it's just going to uh, unzip everything. And every package, if you remember, is actually a, a individual uh, zip file. This makes it easier to manage the packages outside of the installer uh, because they're just zip files. Uh, you can also use FD impuls. Uh, as we've talked about in other videos, to uh, choose to install or uninstall 
certain packages on your system. You can uh, really fine tune that. So here it's installed everything and it's transferring the boot files to drive C. And so what that's doing is basically it's putting the, uh, uh, a bunch of startup files on the hard drive. And now I'm ready to reboot. I'm going to just hit enter on please reboot now. Now, in this case, I don't actually need to interrupt the boot process. I can just let the boot process run by itself. And now I'm running FreeDOS. This is the standard menu you get when you boot up the system. So you can pick what memory environment you'd like. I'm just going to let the default happen. And there I am at the command line for FreeDOS 1.3 RC4. So I just wanted to do a quick demo video about how to install FreeDOS on your fresh computer. Uh, what do you think about that video? Let me know in the comments below what other topics you'd like me to cover. Uh, before I go, I want to thank uh, all the people who support me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. So thank you very much. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I wanted to recognize you especially here. So thank you again. Before I go, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.